Hello and welcome to another episode of Crash Bandicoot XS. Today we're going to be jumping into another underwater level. Uh, this is the second time I've, been, I've attempted to record this. The first time we kind of failed in twice. Except one of them wasn't our fault. But actually neither of them was our fault. Uh, one of them was my fault. Um, but anyway, I am talking about me and my guest. Obviously, let me see. We... It's me again. Yes. Because I have my friends. Okay. <laughs> this is the only friend I have that is like interested in games, I guess. Um, I won't really say that. I just say that the only friend you have is interested in talking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose. Um, this level is called Shark Attack, but I think the main featured enemy is the jellyfish, which aren't really enemies, they're more like hazards because they don't actively try to kill you and uh, granted none of the other enemies do except maybe the eels but you know they, they just float there moving up and down they, I'm pretty sure they can't even see you they probably can, I don't, I don't know I'm not a marine biologist I don't think jellyfish, no, no jellyfish don't have eyes do they? don't they um, I'm probably deaf if I'm on this but they uh, I don't know, don't they just drift? yeah and then if they like feel something, they electrocute it. Not electrocute, sting. Well, they, they don't electrocute it. I know, I mean sting. No, I, I, don't, I just think they um, have um, Well, there you go, last, last, week, uh, last episode it was possums, now I'm going to be looking up um, jellyfish. <laughs> this is the biology let's play. You can have fun enjoying terrible 2002 Game Boy Advance Activision owned games while learning about biology at the same time. So this game wasn't that bad. But... Jellyfish, a major non form of individuals on really, uh, I don't even want to read this. This is what it says on Wikipedia, so I have no idea. Try, try going to the side. You know how they have like multiple languages? Yeah. We also have one called Simple English. <laughs> oh, excellent. Apparently okay. people who speak English are too stupid to understand the lingo on Wikipedia, so they made a separate language for those people. So where's the... Uh, um, I think oh, down the left side of the page, there's Simple English. And then, yeah, and then there's like Simple Simple English, except not really, but... And then you'd like, um... Jellyfish are animals of the Polytherm Synodria. Polytherm. Maybe. Actually, it's P H Y L U N. It's not full of film. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Kingdom Class Film. Um, wait. I kind of stopped watching your recording. Oh wow, you're in a new level anyway. Wow. <laughs> Kingdom Film Class Order so, uh, Family Genus Species. Is that right? Uh. Uh, like the order of classification. Uh, oh, I can talk about the uh, stingers if you want. But sure, why not? That you talk about a jungle as well, because in that sort of level now. Um, jungles are a habitat for some creatures, including okay. um weird lizards with collars and spiky heads. Um, I boxes full of trinitrotolerine, purple lizards. Um, iron boxes, right. floating, the the float the floaters platformers, lump of fruit, and everyone's favourite random tiki statues in the background. Yes. Well, back onto the jellyfish. They have soft bodies and long, stinging, poisonous tentacles that they use to catch fish. Venom is injected fish. by a sting cell called the. Nemonopsis, a jellyfish is 98% water. 98%. Well, that's not that that unbelievable. We're like 70% water, aren't we? Uh, yes. Or was it 90%? <laughs> yeah, no, that was yeah, jellyfish. Yeah, think about it. Like, jellyfish even, doesn't even have like a biological form, though, does it? Doesn't no, it's it just like a. It doesn't have any yeah, bones because it's, it's like an floating, invertebrate. Yeah. What? Well, well, wait, wait. What is it? What is a jellyfish? Is it? I know it's an invertebrate. Is it a mollusk or? Uh, it's a. It's king. It's an animalia. Yeah, kingdom uh, is animalia, obviously, because it's an animal. Yes, 
Adik se... Uh, oh, Cindy... C-N-I-D-A-R-I-A Well viewers, if you want to learn more about jellyfish, I suggest you go to Wikipedia or other jellyfish websites. Jellyfish websites? Suggesting yes. that people care enough about jellyfish to make websites on them, except there probably is. There's a website <laughs> called Is It Christmas? It's programmed so that uh, 364 days of the year, by the way, phallic symbol, um, 364 days of the year, or 365 on leap years, um, you go to the page and it just says no, on just big no on the background. On Christmas, it says yes. That's it. Wow. Seriously, look it up. www.isitchristmas.com Okay. Another bunch of pointless websites include... Huh? Are you going to put your link to this in the description? No. <laughs> I guess, maybe. Yeah, there's loads of pointless websites, like www.sometimesredsometimesblue.com Guess what? Sometimes the page is red and sometimes it's blue. Oh no, it says no. It says no, obviously, because it's not Christmas. But you can check again in, on Christmas. That's sad. <laughs> you can ask the viewers if they want to see. Sure. Uh, another one is Jello Time. www.jellotime.com. There's just some jelly sitting there, and if you move your mouse over it, it wiggles and makes a ridiculous noise. It's like What's it huh? www.jellotime.com. J e l l o time. Just don't misspell time with um, a U in it or a Q. Do you remember how you spelled Australia? No. This is such a useless thing. Yeah, that's useless. So yeah, it's pretty much the giant random bird and uh, tiki statues. This level gets boring once you've died in it so many times. <laughs> if wow. I didn't, di if I didn't die so much, I could probably do twice as many levels. But then there would be twice as less amount of videos. And I don't want this thing to last such a short time. I want it to last a decent amount of time because um, I don't actually have a way of recording my next planned let's play. And I guess if I complete this one before I get the equipment, I'm going to have to rearrange the order of two of them and do the other one. Do you remember what it is? Don't say what it is. Uh, send it to me in the chat, because I honestly can't remember. Uh, instead of what I planned to do, you know what that is. I would have to do... Alright. Oh, why, why can't, uh, is, uh, this one going to happen to me? Yeah. Alright, oh, uh, why can't anyway, you do it? Because I don't have the ability to record it yet. I don't have, like, capture card. Oh, anyway, right. uh, this is NGIN. You want to shoot that thing that was at the bottom first, because, um... One thing, it's pretty easy to take out. It doesn't take that many shots to defeat. And secondly, uh, it has the most annoying weapon. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it has, like, a, the most annoying weapon. It's just a massive rapid firing thing. If you don't destroy it first, then it, you'll probably die very quickly. And once you destroy two of them, I'm not sure if it has to specifically be the bottom one and one of the sides, or even if you can just do two of the sides, uh, the top thing will open. Shoot, what did I do? Um, yeah, I think I've messed up the entire video. Wow. I accidentally just pressed down. And then, like, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's probably gonna be more um, stuff there. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, it'll still be alright. Yeah, you, you can edit it out. That's what Windows uh, Movie Maker is made for. I think it's cool. Um, yeah. once you once you destroy the bottom one, the rest of it is pretty easy. You really don't have to try that hard. If you don't destroy the bottom thing first, then this fight is really hard. So basically, if you know what you're doing, it's easy. If you don't, then it's really hard. 
I guess you could always get lucky. Like when I beat the watermelon festival. Double one. jump. Yeah, I got the double jump. Um, I'm gonna end the audio here. Just you know to fix it. Say bye. Bye. Bye.